Hello everyone, Porcelain here on Manufactured, and welcome to another episode of Tossed and Found, the weekly show all about thrift. Um, today we have a uh, another toy haul um, of a kind of toy that I previously didn't collect, um, except for accidentally, but now apparently I collect them. <laughs> um, I might uh, rehome these in the future, but they were a pretty cool deal and I wanted to look at them and definitely save at least a few of them for props um, and the dolls I definitely want as part of my collection. So as you can tell, this is a Shoppies and Shopkins haul. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Shopkins aren't really something that I've collected up till now, uh, but I found these bags at a local thrift shop lately, um, and I found three dolls for three dollars, and then each of these giant bags of Shopkins for four dollars, um, each for four dollars, so, so for eleven dollars, everything in this haul, um, which I think is pretty decent considering how heavy these bags are, and I'm pretty sure everything in them is Shopkins, or almost everything. Um, apologies in advance, I won't know the names of any of these, uh, because they are not something that I previously collected, but if you'll bear with me, we will at least go through them, and you will see the start of my collection. This bag is a little bit bigger than this one, so we'll probably open this one first, um, but we're gonna start with the dolls, because that's what I'm most excited about, because I am primarily a doll collector. Oh. See if I can take the staples out and keep the bag sort of okay. And there we go. Got her open. I also don't know the names of these dolls, but uh, here is the first one. Her hair is a bit messy and she is missing her shoes, um, but she does still have her outfit. I guess her shirt is permanent and her skirt is interchangeable with the rest. She looks kind of like a chocolate chip dipped ice cream cone. Um, yeah, I don't think she's too bad. She has string in her. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, but yeah, I'll like either fix her up or uh, have her in my bin for doing custom work. Cause I think these are kind of cute bases for customs. I like their proportions at least. So that's the first one. Their faces are a little bit wild, though. Second one we have... Whoa! The skirt probably goes with this one, since she's wearing a pink top. I have no idea what kind of food-related thing she was meant to be, but she has a lot of hair. Um, her face needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, she's got a bow on the front. Very frilly top, and she also has no shoes. They have very basic articulation, these dolls. Very, very basic. Um, but it's not horrible, and they're not horribly made dolls either, so yeah, she's got like this really poofy ponytail. Um, just lots and lots of hair, which is kind of fun. I wish their mouths weren't open, I think they'd be cuter if their mouths closed. And then, finally, we have one who seems to be in like, perfect condition. I'm going to assume this is her original outfit because it looks like popcorn. Um, so here's her face and hair. It is, again, almost perfect. Uh, she's the main reason I bought this bag. She looked pretty complete. Um, here's her little out outfit, um, which definitely looks popcorn-y. And then she has, like, ice cream slippers. So I'm thinking that these go with this doll. Um, and then, uh, so she's not actually wearing her own shoes. But she is still, nonetheless, kind of a complete doll, which is really nice. So she'll just go on display in my collection. The other two will sort of just be for fixing up um, and maybe creating costume with. So that's the first bag. That's our three dolls for a dollar each. And they're pretty cute. Put them off to the side. So we have, let's see, let me go even farther off to the side. Can we stand her up? Had to change my camera battery, but we're back. Um, so like I say, was saying before, uh, they are quite heavy, but uh, that's an awesome thing because that means that we will be getting a lot of these little guys. Alright, I'm just going to tear into these bags. Ooh, tear into this first one, hopefully they don't go anywhere. Alright, and I'm going to pull them out one at a time. So the first one we have is this little baseball cat. It is purple and green, and oh, it has like blue laces up the back, and then it has like feet on the bottom, which is kind of funny looking. There's its little face. 
Oh. All right, then we have, oh, this one's really shiny. Okay, does shiny mean something? Okay, this one's like a really shiny apple with a worm in its head. They look cute when they're all like together like this, at least in a big bunch. I'm gonna keep them all in a big jar, probably. <laughs> um, then we have this refrigerator. Nothing is to scale with each other, which I find pretty funny. So we have a baseball cap that's the same size as an apple that's the same size as a refrigerator. Uh, we have a can of beans in green with like a metallic lid. A well? <laughs> okay, I didn't know they made a well. So actually, yeah, it says moose on the back. It's got the Shopkins logo. So we have a well, like a wishing well. A... is this a computer? No, this is like a box of chocolates. That's pretty cute. You could probably get away with definitely having this on a shelf in a sort of like chocolate shop set. You probably wouldn't even notice it was a Shopkins. We have... what is this? Is this a kettle? Uh, she looks kind of like a kettle to me. I could be wrong, though. And then we have, let's see, oh, a pretzel. Oh, it looks really silly. We have a pretzel with a very silly looking face. Every, like, little grain of salt is painted on, though, so at least there's that attention to detail. We have what looks like an all sort, a licorice all sort. I do not like um, licorice all sorts. Don't think they taste too good. Um, then we have what is this? Some sort of like ice cream drink dish thing. Pretty cute. This is gonna take a long time. We have a little present. That's actually really adorable. I like that. And again, like you face it that way, you could put it under a doll Christmas tree. And no one would know it was a Shopkins. Unless they look really close, but some of these definitely work. Oh, this is adorable. I really like this one. It is a little carton of milk with a face. I really like that, actually. Definitely like that as a doll prop. Big, big fan of that. Then we have a bagel, like a bagel sandwich type thing um, in two tones of pink with gold uh, sesame seeds on it. That's kind of a strange choice of colors, but all right. Then we have, oh, this is not a Shopkins. I think this is a Squinky. It's a little squinky cat. I think it's a Squinky at least. It's, I don't know. It's one of these tiny little rubbery toys. It's very adorable. I will, I will put it back there. They don't make Squinkies anymore, I don't think. Uh, then we have what looks like a pair of cherries, but they're colored like peaches or something. So maybe they're a pair of peaches instead. They're just sort of Remind me of how cherries are stuck together. I'm gonna try and make it so you can see all of them at the end, or maybe, maybe not all of them will fit on frame. We'll see. Uh, we have a boot or a sneaker. A... This is supposed to be a cinnamon roll, but it's um, red and then it has pink frosting, maybe? Kinda looks like it's trying to be a cinnamon roll. Again, quite hard to tell with these. <laughs> um, definitely a piece of sushi, this one. Although pink sushi, I don't know about eating that. It's got little chopsticks in its hand though, that's pretty adorable. Oh, then we have what looks like a chocolate bar or candy bar, but it's in pink and has purple wrapper. We have, let's go through a few of these, a, this just says bomb, oh it's like a lip balm. Lip balm, it's got like sparkly paint on the top or something, I don't know that that's intentional. So I don't know about that. We have, okay I'm gonna think this is a coconut with its tongue sticking out, this is pretty adorable. And a straw stuck in its head. And a tube of toothpaste, showing off its little teeth. Alright, next we have whatever this is. It's like a little cream puff or something, I'm not sure. It's 
got icing on it. Uh, we have a taco. Oh, it has a little mustache. Oh, that's adorable. A little taco. A plate of sushi. Is this a shop? Oh, it is a shopkin. Okay, it's a shopkin. It's like a plate of sushi and stuff. And it has a space for chopsticks. That's really cute. I really like that, especially because you turn it other ways and you definitely can't tell. It's a shopkins, which is nice for when you're decorating dollhouse. Oh, then we have a glittery one. This one's like a glittery ball, like a softball, but it's blue and ombre and glittery. Are the glitter ones special? I don't know. There aren't many of them, <laughs> at least not in this lot. We have a little piece of candy. That's really cute. It is blue. It looks kind of shocked. Doesn't want to be eaten. Uh, and then we have a ball with like a puppy dog face. I like that. Little ball with a puppy face. Is that a ball? Maybe it's meant to be an orange? I don't know, I think it's a ball. Then we have our first duplicate. It's a little sneaker. Duplicate of our sneaker friend over here. We still have a whole bunch more in this bag, in this first bag. I do not know that they'll all fit on screen. We have another present, but this time in purple and pink. We have a roll of toilet paper. In normal colors. <laughs> oh, a little mushroom. I really like this. I love mushrooms. That's so cute. It's got little freckles and everything. Oh, I really like that one. Okay, that's really adorable. Some of these I really, really like. And we have... Is this supposed to be a basket of flowers, I think? It's got like kind of ombre flowers. I think that's what it's meant to be. Uh, then we have some soap or shampoo. Not sure what that one's meant to be either. <laughs> Not too good at this. We have a piece of cheese or butter or cheese. Is this slices of cheese? Really shocked cheese. I'm gonna assume it's cheese. Next we have, oh, this is not a Shopkins. I don't know what this is, but it's like a little giraffe with wings. It's really cute. I will keep it, but I have no idea what it is. At least it's cute. Our next handful, we have another bagel sandwich, but this one's purple, but then the insides are like normal colors. So I don't quite understand that. But we have a purple bagel sandwich. We have, oh, a sweater and it's got like antlers. Oh, that's really cute. I love deer, so that's that's really cute. I like that. And the like pink and blue, the baby pink and baby blue ombre is really cute on there, too. I like that. Um, then we have... This looks like a makeup bag to me, but it could be something else. I'm going to assume makeup bag. That's like a little brush sticking out. A calculator. Is this our actual Shopkins? Its face looks so different. Oh, it has a logo and everything. Okay. Calculator. I guess just because it's wearing glasses, it's done very differently. A rolled up belt. A jar of ketchup. That's pretty adorable too, actually. A Another mushroom, but a different shape and different colors. This one's like purple. I like that. We have, oh, this one's really sparkly. This is like a different thing of ketchup. Okay, a different shaped bottle of ketchup, but it's pink and it's glittery, sparkly, like shimmery, kind of. We're almost only for, through the first bag and we've already filled up most of the space that I have. Uh, we have a wheel of cheese. Pretty happy looking wheel of cheese. Won't be so happy when it gets eaten. Uh, then we have is this meant to be an egg? I don't know. It's really weird. Like a chocolate egg, I guess, because that must be chocolate coming out the top. I don't know. Very strange to me. <laughs> Alright, I think we have like two more little handfuls in this bag. Until we move on. Alright, we have a high heel in green. She looks quite happy to be a high heel, probably because she is not a piece of food, so she won't be eaten like these other ones. Oh, like this adorable broccoli. Here's our broccoli. Uh, then we have a different colored can of beans. 
we have an orange that's being peeled. So I guess this one really is a ball and not an orange or anything. We have, oh, another ball. This is like a softball and it looks like a dog. And for our last few from this bag, oh, come on out. All right, we have another heel. Oh, focus. Focus, please. We have another heel in purple and pink with cherries on the heel. A brush. We have a little potted plant, but the pot is like a bunny. That's really cute. You could definitely use that in a dollhouse. A tiny miniature scooter. Oh, that's adorable. This is like Polly Pocket size, so I really like that. You could put a Polly Pocket on there perfectly, like the old school small ones. Or like the, the miniature Shopkins that they do now, the little secrets, which are great. Uh, then we have a, like a two, two for one, which is this uh, mixing machine and each of them have faces. I really like that. That's cute. And that is everything for our first bag. And we have filled up most of the frame already. But now we're gonna get into the second bag and see if we can fill up more of this frame. So far, everything in, the fir everything in that first bag, except for those two, were Shopkins. Which is pretty cool. All right, getting into the second bag. First thing we have is a cup for ice cream or something. It's holding a spoon, but it doesn't have anything inside. Let's see. There you go. Um, then we have a bottle. Um, this looks like the bottles for the LOL dolls, so this is not a Shopkin. I don't have any LOL dolls, so I don't know. That'll go over there. Um, then we have a different kind of hat. It's like a summery hat. We have a piece of bread or a loaf of bread that's in purple ombre. That's still kind of in frame. I'm trying to fit everything in frame, actually. Like that. Okay. Um, we have a pair of, I think this is meant to be like a pair of snorkel goggles, but then it's also like a fish. Uh, that's interesting, at least. Very different. Uh, we have a popsicle and it's like see-through. I like that. I like that they did see-through. We have oh, a, a vacuum cleaner. World's tiniest vacuum cleaner. I don't know that it could clean up very many messes. Uh, we have, is this a burger maybe? Maybe? Maybe a burger? Hard to tell. Uh, we have, oh, one of these donut, not donut, uh, bagel sandwiches that is actually normal colors. So we have three different colors of bagel sandwich. Um, we have a telephone, like a old school rotary phone, which I'm sure like half my viewers have never used one of these before. <laughs> maybe not half, maybe like 15%. I don't know. I've only used it a one a couple of times myself. Um, then we have a box of tissues, and it looks like it's about to cry, so that is very apt, very appropriate. Alright, next we have a very fancy looking piece of bread. Very, very fancy looking. We have, oh, this is fuzzy, oh man, okay. I believe this was a Shopkins. It's very fuzzy, but a lot of it's like, it's got like a lot of dirt or whatever on it. So I'll try and clean that up, but I might not be able to. Um, we have a sneaker in pink and white. We have a baseball bat that looks too happy. It's also really tiny. Um, we have, oh, this one needs to be cleaned up too. We have a cell phone that's also a bear, or oh, no, it's a remote. Never mind. It's got like powder on it. Let me see if I can fix that up. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better at least, and I will uh, properly wash it. But there you go. Now you can actually see its face. I just brushed it off a bit. Um, then we have a licorice. 
like a Twizzler type thing. I love Twizzlers so much. One of my favorite candies of all time. Oh, we have a duplicate of this blue brush. So it'll go over there. Uh, we have an almond cookie. This one looks burnt. <laughs> or chocolate almond cookies, do they make those? We have a fish. Not a fish, oh my goodness. We have like a plate with a fork and a knife and a star. This reminds me of uh, that like nursery rhyme. The, the dish ran away with a spoon or whatever. I don't know why, I think it's because like the stars and stuff. Alright, next we have another piece of candy, but this one's metallic and pink. Focus. Uh, we have a duplicate of the normal colored bagel sandwich. We have a happy birthday cake in green and pink. We have a duplicate of our miniature vacuum cleaner. We have a very glittery and also see-through head of lettuce. Um, another one of these wrapped up belts in the same teal color, so that's a duplicate. We have a see-through mouse that is also a mouse. That's pretty cute, I like that. Uh, we have a tennis racket. Um, then we also have a smaller piece of candy. This is a lot cuter of a mold than the other ones. We have another box of tissues. Is this the same color as our one from before? Let me see. Can I find it? Where are you, box of tissues? No, it is a different color. It's right there. Just slightly different. Then we have a cake. This is not a Shopkins cake. Um, no, it says Hasbro on it. Shopkins are by Moose. So this is probably goes with like, I don't know, a doll or a pony or something. But it's a cute cake nonetheless. We'll go back here with our non-Shopkins items, our imposters. Um, that are all still cute anyways. <laughs> we have this little drink with like a cat face. Alright, I don't want to grab too many things or I won't be able to see them. We have a backpack or some sort of like gym bag or something in teal. Um, there is another sort of like frozen see through one. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like some sort of cold treat. Oh, we have another see through one. This one's like a sorbet. I know they all have names, I just don't know any of their names, so apologies for that. We have another shoe, but this one is different colors. We have a glittery one. This is a different kind of belt. See on the side, there's the buckle. We have um, some sort of other ice cream dessert that we haven't seen yet. Stock a whole frozen aisle with these. Oh, I'm dropping them. We have a little candy apple. That's pretty cute. We have a little slipper in like green and purple. We have a third double of our vacuum cleaner. It's a good thing it's on the end here. Um, we have the match to our purple heel, which having matches to the shoes isn't a bad thing because shoes tend to come in pairs. We have a little toothbrush. This guy's pretty cute. Look at this guy. Little toothbrush. Toothpaste on the back. Um, we have a tiny little donut that I think is also a charm. Well, 
because it has this little thing in the front. I think that was meant to be on like a bracelet or a phone strap or something. Oh, and another one that I think is a charm. This one is a tiny tube of lipstick. Very cute. We'll keep these sort of separate from the rest. Or like, yeah. They're off to the side, but you, you'll still see them at the end. We have, I'm not sure what this is, just like a, a bunch of pearls or something? Maybe? It's got a P on the top. Uh, we have a high heel boot. This is more like something I'd wear if it was black. <laughs> um, then we have a piece of like toast or bread or something with chocolate on the top. And it's tongue sticking out. Still have so many to go through and I don't have space left. Alright, we have a bottle of perfume. And we'll put him there. We'll start putting some more in between the rows. Um, we have whatever this is. Like a roll of cake or something? We have another kind of cake with stuff on top. Whoa! Missing them. We have a kiss, like a Hershey's kiss. We have a bottle of soda, and it is see-through. Well, some parts of it. We have, oh, another kiss, but this time in purple and silver. Um, we have a purse. Or like a sleepover bag, like a duffel bag. Um, we have a donut. A... What are you? Are you like a brownie? It looks like a bear, but also a brownie. Then we have a beret. A cake. Oh, that's really cute. A pierogi or dumpling. Um, another mushroom. That one's a duplicate. We have... Oh, it's like a little game system. That's really cute. Uh, and then we have a tomato. We have a duplicate to our tennis racket. We have a macaron or cream puff. She kind of looks like a macaron, but then she's bright yellow, so I'm not sure. It's a duplicate to our dishes. Oh, we have a... Oh, it's a toilet. I guess this goes with the toilet paper, except the toilet paper is the same size as this. Nothing's to scale. It's very strange. Nothing's in the same scale. That's fine though. I understand the reason. Uh, we have a very different heel. It's different from that first green heel that we found. We have a very sleepy chair or daybed or something like that. I'm not sure. It's wearing a sleep mask though, and it's very glittery. Uh, we have a duplicate to our tomato. I'm gonna put that other one over there. Uh, we have another cat drink, but in different colors. I like these little drinks. I think that they will work well as doll props. Um, we have some fries. Another one of my favorite foods. Fries and popcorn are like my weakness. <laughs> we have a different colored pretzel. This one's probably a spicy pretzel. A another happy birthday cake, but this one's just white and green. A Fluffy, fluffy boot. Fluffy boot. With the cake. Whoa, getting down there. We have a rain boot. She looks pretty happy. Probably enjoys rainy days. We have a rain hat. I guess this is it has an umbrella on it, so I'm gonna guess it's like a hat for the rain. Um, we have a burger in like normal burger colors. We have a little purple gelatin that looks kind of confused. We have, I don't know what this is. Looks like a coiled up snake, but then it doesn't have, it, it has like a snake face, but then it doesn't have, it has also this face. I don't understand this one. 
it confuses me more than the foods with faces. Oh, we have another one of these like charms. I'm not sure what this one is. Well, we have a very sparkly plant. Or a sparkly container for a plant. We have some more of those peaches or cherries or whatever you want to call them. There we go. To go there. We have a little purple fan. Who also needs some brushing off. Fan. We're down to our last few and we have, oh my goodness, okay, I'm going to take these little guys out first. We have a couple of eggs and they have faces, uh, like Shopkins faces. But they're just loose little eggs. I don't want to lose them. They're really cute. And they're like, kind of squishy but kind of dense. They're made out of the same stuff as these, but they're kind of more dense. They're just gonna roll around. Oh no. Oh wait, where's that one that was like a bowl? There we go. You can hold the eggs. I don't know that that was your purpose, but it's your purpose now. Wait, can I fit both? Then we have, oh, a little like, is this a, this looks like the other like little charm type things, but then I'm thinking this is a pacifier, so it would normally look like this. Oh, you guys can't even see. Is this a pacifier? I'm going to put it with these little charm type ones anyways. Oh, and we have four more. So we have, first of all, a duplicate to our slipper, so that makes a pair. We have a little thing of jam or jelly. We have this bowl of ice cream that is nicely done because it's very clearly ice cream, unlike some of the other ice cream ones where I'm a little more confused at. And then finally, a very sparkly pink, I'm going to guess this is an apple. It's also kind of see-through. Yeah, pretty cute though. So, uh, I think we did pretty well. This is kind of a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. For our $11, we ended up with three Shopkins dolls, um, four Shopkins imposters, and then I'll have on screen this many Shopkins, because I'm not going to count them all right now, but I'll count them in editing because um, myself in editing is always the like most unhappy version of myself. If you're looking to start a collection, I definitely recommend thrifting instead of buying new. It's easier to get a good start with like a lot of items for a much cheaper price, as long as you can find them, hunt them down. It does take a little more time, um, but it is a lot cheaper, and also you're doing something good for the environment, saving toys from landfills, uh, and saving like new products to have to be made all the time. Um, yeah, if you liked this video, maybe give it a like, uh, check out some other videos that I've done, and if you also like those, maybe consider subscribing. Aside from that, I hope you're having an awesome day, good luck in your future thrifting adventures, and keep playing by your own rules, guys. Bye!